Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. Uh, this time for a, another uh, banner draw. Uh, this time we are going into a new era. Uh, we are now in C90 era. With the introduction of uh, Ifrit's Divine. And we have uh, two banners as normal for another BT uh, rotation. This time being Knowles. Which has his kit on it, uh, Edwards up to EX, and a new LD for uh, Sid Highwind, which is very nice. The returning BT uh, being Onion Knight, who gets a BT Plus here as well, who has a uh, Celis on his banner up to EX, and the return of Sarah. Now the the two main characters of each banner here also get their level 90s, so Sarah, Onion Knight, Sid, and Noel all get level 90. And honestly, I'm going to be going in on these banners with tickets for probably a stupid thing of three different LDs. Because I'm going after both Sid and Noel, and potentially Sarah. And hopefully this doesn't go too badly for me. Especially because I am going in with tickets. Uh. Wow, not going too well. The that looks like my first pull. But either way, uh, with C90, uh, characters are getting some much needed upgrades to their EXs. I f forget at which point in the new levels gets those upgrades, but they now do a lot more. Uh, damage wise, uh, stat wise. Etc. I believe uh, Noel might have gotten a rework here, but I know Sarah and uh, Sid both get reworks, and I think Onion Knight gets a rework for his LD. Uh, first LD of the evening, we got Sid. Very nice. Now to get Noel, because I failed to actually get him when he first appeared with uh, Eldmarsh. It's a, a burst. I probably should have gone for him back then, but I just kind of tokened Eldmarsh's burst and didn't touch that banner otherwise. Which is usually considered a stupid thing to do by many, but I wanted to actually use him for it, for that rotation, and I ended up not getting him anyway, so whatever. Well, not getting his burst naturally, I have him built. Also, with level 90, we get the introduction of Ultima weapons, which are basically stat sticks. Don't it, Edward? But uh, Ultima weapons, we can get a new uh, resource in the cores. And we can forge the Ultima weapons with. And like I've already said, they're basically stat sticks. Uh, you'll have a higher max brave. I believe they give it HP damage bonus. Uh, things of that nature. They tend to be uh, more powerful then burst weapons, even. 
but as it takes quite a few cores to actually uh, forge an Ultima weapon, it generally best not to get rid of the weapon you're putting it over and just swap them between characters as you need. Can be a bit annoying for what I'm seeing, but it gets a bit better as you go along. Now honestly, I'm mostly just uh, going for Null LD to be able to use him for the rotation. Look, Noel, I know I didn't uh, plus you for a while, but I wanted to wait for your LD. <laughs> I'm mostly going for uh, Sarah to have her LD for the core missions. And because I have her costume. But here we go, here's uh, Noel's LD. But yeah, I, I don't know why I have Sarah's costume. I legitimately don't know why I have that. But, uh, might as well throw tickets at this banner to see if I can get her LD here. I already have, uh, Cell is fully built, and I have everything for Onion Knight, who is probably just going to stay as he is currently outside of Crystal Level, because I don't really feel I want to plus him, and the rest of his kit doesn't get any kind of rework, which is quite sad. Oh, that was quick. Fantastic. Huh? That's three LDs pretty darn quick. Uh, no burst on the way, but about uh, 200, uh, 60 tickets for three LDs. That is fantastic. But I'm done here. I'm going to save uh, my tickets now for uh, upcoming batters. I do know I want to go after uh, Cater's, Cater's uh, LD on the Queen Lost Chapter. And there are LDs I want to go for with the next event character as well. But either way, uh, good luck everyone else drawn today. Uh, hope you have good luck with what you're going for. And I'll see you in the next video.